Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a three looks, one palette using the stunning Kaleidos Flare Punk palette. I'm so excited about this palette and I'm so excited about this look I have on and I cannot wait to do the rest of the looks. I haven't even done them yet but I cannot wait. I am loving this palette. It's such a colourful grungy dream if you can see there. I've already done a first impressions with swatches using this palette so you can go check that out if you want to see another look and also the swatches and my first thoughts on the palette. I'm loving it. I can't really say anything else that's bad. I don't have any negatives really about it. I am loving it. I find myself feeling very motivated to do looks with this. I think eventually I will kind of rank my Kaleidos palettes or something like that or maybe do another palette bingo as well when I have more of a collection going because there is one or two more bits I may get from Kaleidos and depending on what they come out with in the future. So we'll see what happens. I did this look obviously as my first look. I haven't done my other two looks but I'm very excited about them so hit subscribe down below to see more videos coming up soon and also up close pictures of this look and all the looks in this video will be posted on my Instagram sometime after the video goes live and it's linked down below so go, go give it a follow. I do sometimes throw up palette swatch videos and everything like that on there and some fun stuff on my stories so go check that out and I think that's everything so let's see what happens in look number one. Alrighty guys so we're going to get into our first look using the flower punk palette I'm so excited and guess what we're going to do a halo eye I know I've never done one before I'm shocked as well. I always do halo eye I always do at least one whether it be a first impression or in my three looks and palette I always throw one in there because it's one of my favorite shapes on my eyes as well so we're definitely going to play with the pinky tones today all of them the three pinks the two mattes and the shimmer and I might pop a little bit of this blue here because I don't think I used it or well I didn't really get to showcase it that much I definitely didn't use this pink though so that's what we're going to play with today and I'm very excited. I already have my eyeshadow primer on, my brows on and my skin on as you can probably tell because I don't look like this naturally all the time. I wish I did but I don't. But that's all listed down below so you can see what I used and let's start. So I want to start with the deepest shade so I'm going to go in with Nouveau which is that kind of rosy deep kind of murky pink and I'm going to use that on a 221 brush from MAC and I just want to see how dark I can get this on its own. Oh that actually went way darker than I thought it was going to because in my first impressions I just used it on my lower lash line so it's and I blended it out from there so it's kind of hard to see how deep it would actually go but that's pretty I'm popping that just on the outer corner oh that's such a nice color bring it into the crease a little bit again we're not gonna go all the way through the crease like I have been doing a lot I've kind of been leaving a gap in the middle of the crease especially with the darker shade and then I might use the brighter shade to blend in the middle Making sure to bring a little bit onto the lid, but mostly just focusing on that outer corner. And you can kind of soften out the edge a little bit, but don't blend upwards because we still want to leave some space for blending. Then take the same shade again and pop that on the inner part of the lid. And same thing, a little bit onto the lid. Make sure you leave a big enough gap for two shimmers. I'll bring that a little bit into the crease as well. Okay, so once you're happy with the general placement and the general impact of the colour we're going to go in to peach soju which is the lightest shade here it is kind of a peachy colour um more on the pink side but has a little bit of peach and more like a rosy pinky peach and we're going to use that on a this is a bh cosmetics lavender Lux number five brush it's a big big fluffy brush and just sort of overlap where it is going to meet that deeper shade and then from there blend out so you have a nice gradient between them I wouldn't say this is like the brightest pink in the world, which in some of the pictures it does look a lot brighter, but I think it does suit well with the palette because it gives that extra bit of muted murkiness to the palette, which I like and it goes with the whole flower punk kind of look. And you can go back and forward because I'm kind of losing a little bit of the intensity of the deeper shade, but I will add that back in. And then same on the inside here, we're just going to buff along this edge here. And then when it gets into the middle, start blending because we still want there to be shadow in there but we just don't want the deepest shades just so it keeps that nice rounded effect that light pink blends so easy taking a little bit more of the deeper shade and we're just going to re-intensify where we need to so you'll have something like that there should just be a nice little haze around of that lighter pink i'm loving it so far okay so i want to work on my lower lash line first before we continue any fun shimmers or anything like that we're going to go back in with nouveau and i'm going to do a halo lower lash line as well i want to kind of repeat what we did on top 
It's taking a little bit of that on a 214 from MAC and we're just going to go in about the width of the brush if not a little bit more just to give a bit of depth underneath. Make sure to connect that on the outer corner and then a little bit on the inner part of the lower lash line. Keeping a gap in the middle or as much of a gap as you can. It might not be as wide as the top but the shimmers will lay over the mattes anyway. Okay so then we're going to go back into Peach Soju and we're going to take the same big fluffy brush. You can use a smaller one. That's absolutely fine. It's up to yourself. Whatever fits your eye better but this I want, I want it to be quite blown out anyway. So I'm going to go in and we're just going to start blending that lower lash line and I kind of put the the shadow as close to the edge of the brush like the very bottom part of the brush that I'm going to use and then use those bristles rather than putting it like here where it's going to go everywhere I actually use the very edge of the brush to buff it that way at least I have some sort of control over it and then just make sure you're connecting your blend out here even if you lose your space in the middle there we're going to put glitter primer down anyway so the shimmers should stick fine okay so now onto some glitter primer i'm going to go in with my Too faced glitter insurance and i'm going to pop that on with my finger because i couldn't be bothered doing any other way and i'm not doing a cut crease or anything like that we're just going to take a little bit and press it on the middle part of the eye that we haven't applied anything to taking the tiniest little bit on my baby finger and the gap that is supposed to be here Obviously, if you're more careful than me, it'll still be there, but mine went missing, so I'm going to pop a little bit there. Okay, so now finally I got to use Stained Glass, which I think is a perfect name for this shade. And I might use that on my inner corner as well. Ooh, it's kind of reflecting like a gold to pink. Just placing that right beside where the matte is, just so we have some sort of pink to blend into the blue then. And then you can start overlapping. This is kind of like a topper, so it kind of has a bit of translucency to it, but... It's still super, super pigmented. Same on the other side here. Popping it on and then overlap a little bit. It's like a gorgeous flash of pink every time I turn. Oh my God. Then just take the 221 that we used with the Nouveau shade, the very darkest shade. Take a tiny bit more of the darkest shade and then just press over where it meets, where the colors overlap with the shimmers, just to get a little bit more of a blend going. And I find that doing this adds a bit more dimension as well because it has more of a fade then. And then taking that same shade and that's going to be the only shimmer that I use on the lower lash line. I just want the blue to be like a little random pop on the lid. So we're going to pop that just down here over where we applied the glitter primer. Blend it down a little bit because I want it to be blended down as far as where the matte shades have blended out. Just have it like fade outwards. Okay and then for the very centre we're going to go into Aloe Cove which is this bad boy right here. I love that name. I think that's my favourite name in the palette. Maybe stained glass as well but Aloe Cove just sounds like a really nice place to go. I'm pressing that down the very middle. It will look a bit random at first. But just pop your little stripe down the middle and then you can start overlapping that with the pink shimmer. And then it's just a matter of going in with the blue, the pink, the blue the pink until you're happy with your blend. I definitely still want like the pink to be prominent. I just want the blue to be like a little flash on the center. How pretty is that? Oh, it's so like wet looking and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. So then I'm gonna go back in with stained glass and on just a small little flat brush and that's gonna go on the inner corner because my face highlight is gonna be a pinky kind of duochrome highlight as well. So I kind of want all the hues and the blue is just it's supposed to be like one little odd color that's mixed in okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do the same on the other side for my tiki tuck over this side here and then i am going to finish off my eyes liner lashes lip cheeks all that jazz i'll come back and i'll let you know what i use on my face Okay guys, so this is how I finish off look number one using the Flower Punk palette. So let me quickly go through everything that I use my face because I'm feeling my grungy self right now. I look a bit scary, but that's fine. That's the vibe I like. So for my eyes, I didn't do any upper lash line liner because I always prefer my halo eyes just really rounded. So I don't like to do like a wing or anything like that. So all I did was I took this guy, which is brand new. I have a couple of new bits actually to show you. Well, one, two. Yeah, three. I have the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Dusty Mauve because it kind of matches the two pinky matte tones perfectly. Like it's a little bit deeper than the, the lighter one, a little bit lighter than the deeper one. So I pop that just in the waterline. It's not the deepest, grungiest kind of liner at all. It just matches the tone. So I really like that. And I've been loving these. I actually want to 
try and collect them all if I can. Then onto my mascara, I use the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I've moved off of my lash power, but if you see it come up in videos after this, it's just because I've pre-recorded a little bit, but I am moving on to my Clinique High Impact Mascara. And then my lashes are the House of Lashes Siren Double. So they're ones where they're really long in the center, really, really choppy and spiky, but really dense in the root because they're double lashes. So that's those. I love these style for halo eyes. Then onto cheeks, my next newest product, something that has been on my wish list forever. This is the Nabla Bron Skin Bronzing powder in the shade ambra the lightest shade that they do and it's really really pretty it's a little bit warmer than the likes of say the larizzi bronzer stick or even the fenty in the sun bronzer it's more along the lines of hula it's that kind of tone it's a little bit warmer a bit deeper than hula though but not or hula light but it's not as dark as normal hula it's kind of in between so i'm really liking it. i like the texture but it's kind of like a satin finish which i really really like in my bronzers because it still gives a bit of a glow very pretty little review for that i'm liking it so far then for blush i use my benefit bella bamba blush which is this beautiful kind of brighter pink blush but i used a little bit and just popped it on the cheeks to tie in with the pinky tones on the eyes and then for highlighter i used my kvd beauty is what i'm going to call it from now on because there's about a million names for it this is the metal crush extreme highlighter in the shade gravitron yes it looks yellow no it doesn't come out yellow because it has a pink to kind of gold duochrome which i thought would pair really nice with the pink that's on the eyes and then finally onto lips very easy all i used was my mac plum lip liner which is just a kind of plummy browny kind of color like a mauvey brown so again time with the mauvey tones and then my lip is the rebel rose from wet and wild it's one of their mega last liquid katsu matte lipsticks liquid lipstick very simple and it's a mauvey tone so i just thought that would be absolutely perfect and still tie in with the kind of grungy look Okay guys, so that is look number one using the Kaleidos Flare Punk palette. I'm trying not to blind you guys with the palette, with the reflectiveness. But yeah, I'm so excited about how this turned out. I have a couple more fun bits planned. I have another one where I want to showcase that shimmery blue a little bit more because I still haven't properly shown them off just yet. I want to play with that other shade, the kind of mustardy shade that I didn't play with. And I don't know, we have to plan something else. So yeah, let's see what happens in look number two. Okay guys, so on to look at number two using the Flower Punk palette and I'm very excited today. We're definitely going to use that shimmery blue and it's going to be a mostly blue look. I am going to use the two kind of tealy, minty, bluey kind of colours and a little bit of Earthship, which is the deepest green, just to deepen it up a little bit. But it's mostly going to be blue, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. I already have my eyeshadow primer on, my brows on and my skin on and a little bit of bronzer and fake freckles as well. That's all listed down below so you can see what I use down there. So let's get started. So I'm going to start here with Mint Fever because I mostly want it to be these two. I just want to use this to deepen it up a little bit, but these are the main colors so i'm going to start with that shade so that's the most impacted on um we're taking this on a what are you bh cosmetics rose gold number five brush a big fluffy brush and nothing too technical with this look it's just going to be a nice standard kind of eye oh i love that shade so pretty i'm excited to play with these blues now because i know i did add them into say the first look and even my first impressions as well but just to really get in and show them off a little bit more. So I'm bringing this the whole way through the crease. And these blend, especially this blue as well, blends so easy. Like that's taking me no time at all. Like how is that already blended? I'm just going to build it up now. So just building it up. Okay, so now I want to deepen this up a little bit. This is going to be a simple enough look. So I'm going to take Earthship, which is that deeper kind of khaki shade. Taking a little bit of that on the 221S brush from MAC, a small little skinny blending brush. So I don't want this shade to be super, super prominent. I just want this to deepen a little bit through the crease, but still see a lot of that bluey kind of shade coming through. And because it's more of an earthy green, it will kind of dull down a little bit as you can see there but we will go back in and blend more just get it through the crease where you want it to be deepest and then we'll make it look even more blue again i'm actually liking that color that that's creating but i do still want to make it a little bit more blue so we're going to go back in with minty fresh or mint fever sorry mint fever on the big fluffy brush again and just blend through that to make sure the blue really stands out okay so now sticking with the mint fever here i'm going to take a 219 brush from max just a pencil brush 
pop that along the lower lash line quite blown out and we're going to bring that the whole way across so all the way in and making sure you're connecting with the outer corner of here so your blend is the same and blend it down as far as you want and then lastly for the mats we're going to go back into earthship which is our khaki shade and we're going to just deepen along the lashes i'm going to take this on a really small little pointed brush i got this brush on ebay so i don't know where it's from um and we're just going to pop that along the lashes as close as you can get connect that to the outer corner as well and we'll do the same we'll just blue it up as much as we want once it's already on and blended so once i have it on there i'm going to take my 219 again with the blue on it and then just go over it like we did before just to make sure it's nice and blended like the top it all matches nicely i don't really know what waterline liner to go for don't know where to do like i have a color that's similar to that minty mint fever but i don't know okay so now onto some fun stuff we're gonna use some glitter primer and i've got my Too Faced glitter insurance and i'm gonna pop that just on a flat brush so any flat brush will do i'm using the rose gold number what are you seven brush from bh cosmetics and just press that all over the lid i'm not doing a quick crease or anything like that i may do a quick crease in the next look i'm not sure but i just want to get some sort of color down i want this to be quite a just airy sort of look that all the shimmers and everything merge into each other and you know when you're using one shimmer but just so that it doesn't look too constructed and then we're gonna go for aloe cove which is such a pretty color it's like a mint aqua with in some lights a kind of green shimmer and then in other lights i'm getting a little bit of pink off it i don't know if pink is actually in it but that's the, the shimmer that i get off it and I'm just going to pick that up with that same brush. I just wiped off any excess glitter primer so it's not too chunky. And we're just going to press this all over the lid. So you can probably see like as I'm applying it, it is a bit more of like a toppery kind of shade. It has a bit of a translucent base to it. But as it hits the light and you're layering it up a little bit more, it's such a pretty colour. Yeah, you see on my brush I can see pink. But when it hits the light over here I can see green. In the middle I can see a little bit of pink. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I told you, it's a pretty simple look. I am just going to pop a little bit of inner corner highlight, which I'm going to use my face highlight because I don't want to add any more different colours to this. I could use the blue on the inner corner as well, but I want something a little bit brighter. This is the Ingla Body Sparkles in the shade number seven. That's what it looks like there on the lid. This is what it looks like in the tub. And it's the most blinding highlight I own, I think. So I just want to pop a little bit of this on the inner corner just in here because there's no real color to it it's just like a nudie champagne -y kind of color not even champagne it's more just like a nude super sparkly highlight okay so that is pretty much it very simple look i'm gonna jump off i'm gonna do some liner i may have to decide i think i am gonna use my lighter liner on the waterline because i'm probably gonna do a winged liner i haven't done a winged liner in a while or i feel like i haven't anyway i'm gonna do my cheeks and we'll actually do a lip together because i want to try another one of the cloud lip clays is that what they're called what are they called the cloud lab lip plays lip clays one of these guys so we're gonna try out one of these it's gonna be very fun okay so this is how i mostly finish off the look i'm gonna just show you what i use my face before we continue on so as far as my liner goes i used my la girl shockwave neon eyeliner in the shade fresh which pretty much it's a bit bluer than the colors i have on now but it's more exactly like the matte shade before i put the green on so it's kind of that color but it, i think it still goes pretty well then for my nice little wing that i did here i'm very happy with my wings today they're very very symmetrical if i do say so myself this is the nyx epic ink liner in the shade black it's just a pen liner i just use that because it's my face so far then my mascara is my clinique high impact mascara it's what i'm currently using at the minute like i said in the beginning if in future videos it's different, it's my older mascara. It's just because I pre-filmed those or filmed those videos before this one. So this would be what I use for the future. And then for lashes, excuse my little blob of <laughs> lash glue. I use my Cash Beauty Crystal Night lashes in the shade or in the style Aurora. Um, they're just super wingy, really dense on the outer corner as well. Super long, like they touch my eyebrows. And I love them. They're really curly, but I still want to be able to see all the colors going on. So that's why I picked these ones. And then for cheeks, I already had my bronzer on at the beginning. So this is the Lorizzi Shade Stick Contour Stick thing. It's in the shade Aloha. Google it. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite contours. 
or bronzers contour i kind of use it more as a contour for a blush then it's one of my favorite neutral blushes that i own this is makeup geeks cherish blush i love this blush every time i put it on i just feel so pretty i don't know what it is i just love the amount of color that you get out of it without it taking over everything but it still gives me enough color and then like i said i was going to use i used my ingloss sparkling dust in the shade 07 it's what i have here it's what i put on my inner corner you see me use it earlier but that's why I look like I'm sweating. Okay, and we're going to do lips together because I want to use one of the Cloud Lab Lip Clays. Is that what they're called? I think so. Cloud Lab Lip Clays, yes. And I'm going to use Agave, which is the teal. Now, like I said in the first impressions, if this had been sold on its own, I probably wouldn't have got the whole lip set. I probably would have only bought this one, but I'm very happy I have the other colors now because I think they are beautiful colors and some like ones that I will actually wear as well. But I'm gonna have to use a black lip liner for this. I just want a little bit of pencil. I probably wouldn't really normally use a lip pencil, but I know that this is such a thin formula. So I just wanna do a little bit of black liner. This is the Kiko Milano Creamy Color Comfort Lip Liner, Jesus, <laughs> in the shade 325. So it's just a black lip pencil. It is a lip pencil. And I'm gonna look a bit insane because I'm not gonna line my whole lip or fill in my whole lip. I'm just gonna line it. So let's see how this goes. And we're done. No, I'm joking. This, I just wanted a lip line. I'm not fussing too much with this. I don't even mind if it's completely straight or anything like that. Just wanted a little bit of structure and then we're gonna go in with this really, really beautiful dark teal kind of shade. Hence why I'm kind of wearing this color dress. Oh, look at that color. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's try it on. Oh, oh my God. It's deeper than I thought, which I like. Tell me that that is not the most stunning color oh okay guys so this is how i finish off of a look as you've seen because you just watched me finish it off but i love this lip i will say like i don't necessarily think i needed the liner per se i don't think it was fully necessary and um, i did have a little bit of like a mess trying to apply it but it wasn't like a messy thing to apply i kept like wiping with my finger and then I'd forget I put it on my finger and then I'd try and wipe again if I if I needed to smooth out an edge or anything like that. And the blue kind of goes everywhere. So I have a bit of a blue tint over here, which I'll fix before pictures, but that's fine. It's such a beautiful like velvet formula. Even when it's still drying, it still feels matte. I really like the texture of these. I think they're really, really nice. I can see myself definitely using them more and using them maybe in the next look. Will I use it in the next look? Maybe. I don't know. We'll definitely get used out of the other ones anyway. So this is the look. I am in love. Like I said at the beginning of the video, my Instagram is linked down below, which is where I'll post all the pictures of this look, full face pictures and up close eye pictures. So that is look number two using the Flare Punk palette. And let's see what we do for look number three. It should be interesting. I don't know how it's going to turn out yet. Okay guys, so let's get into look number three using the Flare Punk palette. I'm definitely gonna go back into some greens. I wanna use this shade Golden Eye because I haven't used this yet with these two here. We're kind of gonna do something similar to what I did kind of the lid and the crease in my first impressions look, except without the pink or blue. The only pink I'm gonna use is stained glass. I'm gonna use this on the inner corner, maybe fading into a little bit of the lid, but definitely on the inner corner for a little pop. But I definitely wanna use the golden age shade first. Um, I am gonna start with my darkest shade first anyway. I also already have my skin, my cheeks and my brows on and my eyeshadow primer on as well, which will all be listed down below. I have my cheeks on because I was waiting for my camera to charge and I don't have time to wait too long so I just threw it on really quick while I was waiting. Okay so we are gonna start with the shade Earthship, the deepest kind of dark green kind of shade. I'm not sure if I started with this in my first impressions or not or if I started with the lighter blending shade like the more limey kind of color but I want to start with it now. I think I did, I can't remember. Let's just start anyway. I'm taking this on a defined crease brush from Makeup Geek and we're just gonna pop this on the outer corner. Bring that through the crease. Don't worry about blending out too much or anything like that because we are going to use another shade to blend. But it's more just to get the colour on and in the general shape you want it to be. So I'm kind of bringing it in a little bit of a wing shape but nothing too crazy. We can always wing it out when I'm blending. So now we're going to go into Golden Age which is the kind of more mustardy version of this super bright lime green. And we're just going to see, I just want to see how it looks. I want to see what we get out of it. I'm taking this on a BH Cosmetics Rose Gold number six brush, a nice fluffy brush. And we're just gonna use that just around the edges of that deeper green. It'll definitely come out more of a khaki compared to the other one, which was more bright and limey. This will kind of blend in a little bit more to that deeper shade. They have a very similar sort of tone. 
and then you can start making sure all your edges are lovely and blended. I'm bringing that right the way in as well to make sure in here is lovely and blended. Okay, I'm loving how that blended. That blended so easy. I think it's because the tones are very similar, but oh my God, that blended out so easy. Okay, so now just while I'm at it with the greens, I want to use the Earthship again on a 214 from MAC and I want to work on my lower lash line. Again, starting with the shade because I want the depth to be the same as what we have going on up here. And that's just going to be run all the way along my lower lash line. Okay, and then taking Golden Age again and I'm taking it on a Real Techniques shading brush, just a small little stiff fluffy kind of flat brush and i'm going to take that and use that to smudge out that lower lash line again we want the blend to be the same as up at the top as well so you can go as thick as you want down here bear in mind if you went as thick as i did with the first shade on the lower lash line it's gonna get thicker as it goes down so i would say go thinner if you don't want it to be down as far as i tend to wear it but i like mine quite blown out Okay, so now on to my favourite part, the shimmers of the palette. We're going to go in to the Too Faced Glitter Insurance. I think I'm just going to use my finger to apply this because I don't want to be precise with it particularly. I know I don't do cut creases that often and a lot of people do like them. I have to be in the mood for one, you know, I have to be in the mood to sit there. It's like liner, I have to be in the mood for a liner, I have to be in the mood to do my wing or if my look really needs for it to be that way, I will. Um, if I'm not in the mood, it's not going to turn out right. And I know that myself. Then I'm taking a, what are you, a MAC 243 brush, just a flat brush, any flat brush will do, your finger will do as well. And I'm going to take Sun Gazer, one of my favourite shades in the palette. This is stunning. And that is going to go all over the lid like an absolute dream. There is a bit of fallout from it, but that's absolutely fine. If it looks this pretty, I'm, I am I think it's worth it. Then take a little bit more of Earthship on that same brush we used for it and pop that just on the outer corner just to blend where the two shades meet. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just a little blend between them. Just like that colour, that shimmer. I can't deal with it. So we're going to go into Stained Glass, which is another favourite mine. I love all the shimmers in this palette. I can't help it. I think they're so pretty. Taking that just on a small little flat brush, any little little brush will do anything little flat and we're just going to pop this on the inner corner in here it's just going to add a little pop of pink and a shimmer and hopefully give us a bit of a highlight <gasps> oh it's like a little flesh and you'll notice you probably notice this over the years of or over the time of watching me um i do my inner corners big i like a lot of inner corner okay guys so that is the shadows done i'm gonna jump off i'm gonna do some liner lashes lip because i already have my cheeks on which is very handy and I'll come back I'll let you know what I use on the rest of my face and we can see how we feel about the palette in the end I love it by the way just spoiler alert I already love it but yeah alrighty guys so this is how I finish off of a look and I love it let me quickly go through everything that I used on my face so to finish off the eyes I use my NYX Epic Wear eye pencil in the shade Chartreuse Flash isn't that what it's called yes just a chartreuse -y color to match the shade that's on the lid then my actual liquid liner is the NYX Epic Wear is it epic no epic ink liner it's a liner pen and i love this one of my favorite liners super affordable and works really well then my mascara is my clinique high impact lash elevating mascara that's what i use on my top and bottom lashes and then my lashes are the bh cosmetics m205 lashes that's the box off from there super long very wispy but really long and i really like how they look they don't take away from makeup at all but they give a really nice open look to the eye then for my bronzer, I use my Juvia's Place Bronzed Bronzing Duo and I use the shade Light. This is new to my collection. I use the top shade just to see how deep it would go. I know this shade is going to be a little bit deeper on me. Um, I can get away with both. They really remind me of Hoola Light and then Hoola for this one. So I think I can get away with both. Then my blush is my Benefit Dandelion Blush as my cheek colour to give a little bit of pink but not take away from the eyes but it matches the lip and the inner corner as well. And then for highlight, I went ham as per usual with the highlighter. I used my Makeup Geek highlighting powder in the shade Glitz. Very nice, soft pink undertone. It's not a duochrome, it just has a pink undertone to it and it's really pretty and super shiny. And then for lips, super simple. I use my MAC Whirl Lip Pencil and I use this guy, which is new for me. This is a Bosom Friend lipstick from MAC. It's a super pale, cool toned, pinky nude. Very sheer, but a really nice tone, especially with this. Again, it doesn't take away from the eye, but I definitely need a pencil with it. Alrighty guys, so that is the Three Looks One palette using the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. I've been loving this palette. I think it's so fun, so 
soft but grungy like soft and grungy I think that's the best way to describe to describe it and I love how all the looks turned out. If you also liked how the looks turned out then give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the quickest, simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support, get me around to more people and also let me know you like the video so I'll do more for you guys. Also hit subscribe down below to see many more videos coming up. We have so many palettes to do, we have colour series, we have collection videos, we have everything. I'm so behind but it's fine, I'm not stressed. Are you stressed? I'm not stressed, I'm a little bit stressed. Also leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought of all three looks, which was your favourite. I feeling the teal one i love how this turned out i love that shimmer on the lid i can't help it i'm feeling that teal one the bluey one with the with the teal lip i really like that one so yeah let me know what yours is down below and i will see you in the next video guys